A month has now passed since Islamist militants kidnapped more than 200 girls in Nigeria. This weekend, African leaders have met at a summit in Paris, and they've said they're going to wage total war on the Islamist militant group Boko Haram, who snatched those girls. Here in the UK, prayers will be said for the missing youngsters this morning at a number of Nigerian Pentecostal churches. Adi Amoba is a pastor from the Christian Victory Group and joins us from central London. Good morning, Adi. Um, just tell us a bit about what the people in your community are seeing and feeling at the moment about the situation. Well, it's a very sad time for us uh, as um, Nigerians in the diaspora. Um, the whole issue about this violent radical Islam, um, which we know for us it's a virus that mutates, it has breeding silos and it's airborne right now. It shows up itself as Boko Haram in Nigeria, in other places as Al-Qaeda or the Taliban. And we've failed to stem this virus in its breeding silos and now it's a very, very, ex a very costly um, experience that we're going through as a nation. And here, even though we're in the UK, we've seen what is already happening, even with the two Nigerian boys in Woolwich, that this virus called very, very violent radical Islam is everywhere. And we're all trying our best now to pull together to find ways to help all those who are affected by it, particularly back in Bornu State, to rebuild their lives again, see how they can not live in fear, um, but to be in a country that they are free to express themselves without fear of um, violent persecution. The, the international community is certainly taking this very seriously now. What do you think about how the Nigerian government's been handling it? Well, um, all of this tells me something when I look at what the leadership in Nigeria has done. We don't need politicians in leadership. We need leadership in politicians. And I say that to say this. I'm not even sure the president of Nigeria has visited Chibok, where these girls were abducted. That tells you a lot. That is very painful. That is unacceptable. He, he was um, due Nigeria to go fights there. a corruption war. Sorry to interrupt. He was due to go there, wasn't he? Well, but there were security it, issues. I mean, that tells you he was due to go there, but he's not yet there. Almost a month over. That is painful. If it was my daughter or his daughter or any of any community leader's daughter, that is totally unacceptable. Yes, people might say we've probably not fought this kind of war before. We've fought a civil war, but it's still not an excuse. We should have been there from day one, muzzling up everything we can do with the international community. We are helpful to be out there trying to help those, those girls. Do you think the international community are doing enough? Because we heard yesterday at the summit in Paris um, that the Francois Hollande, the French president, talking about a total um, war against this problem. Do you think that enough's being done? I'm happy that there are efforts being put together now to do something. Um, I'm hoping that this will result in a lasting solution. One thing about this is that um, the so-called leader of Boko Haram you only have to listen to him. He doesn't have the brains or the intelligence to, to sustain such a consistent onslaught. There are powers and people that be that are supporting him and his astute. And this effort must seek ways to make sure that all those people behind the scene are called to question and dealt with appropriately. And also, we have to try our best to give assurance back to families in that community who now live in fear. And they go out every morning hoping they can come back home in one piece. I'm hoping this effort that has been put together is something that in the days or weeks to come, we can all be proud of. Okay, Adi, thank you very much for your time. There is Adi Omoba, who is uh, a pastor in one of the Nigerian churches in London.